Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be discussing the three most commonly used methods of hacking that you may be falling victim to without even meaning to do this. So first up on the list is phishing, right? So this this technique covers a broad number of things, right? So there's a, a big umbrella that covers a lot of things underneath it for phishing. So that's gonna be things like emails, text messages, or even phone calls where somebody tries to get you to provide information about maybe your accounts or gain access to your computer so that they can harm you in some sort of way, right? Like taking money um, or taking your data for other means. So that would be phishing. Phishing is very common. We see it a lot. Everybody gets those emails. Everybody gets those phone calls. Sometimes phishing can even be in person, somebody trying to get information from you. So that's all phishing. The second method on the list is SQL injection or structured query language injection. So this is not actually a hack on you, it's a hack on a web page, right? Like a website with weak security. So instead of the hackers attacking you, they'll attack the website and they know that people are going to go to the website. So what they do is they actually inject code into the website that allows them, gives them this foothold to gain access to all of the people who visit the website so they can take information to then attack those people and now they become victims just from going to a website right didn't mean to provide that information you were just trying to go to a website and now a hacker has injected the website taken information enough to gain that foothold and attack you that's scary the third one is malware we hear this one all the time right and there's malware protection out there antivirus talks about protecting you against malware I don't think anybody here can say they go a week without hearing the word malware. It's all over the news. It's all over the place online. It's very rampant. So how do, well, first off, what is it? What is it? It is anything that's characterized as like a file or program that's going to do anything harmful or intrusive on your system. So to break that down, basically something you download from online or something that makes its way onto your computer that could slow it down, steal information, take control of the system. There's a lot of different things that malware can do. Malware is pretty nasty stuff. And like I said, it's very common. So did you guys notice anything about all three of those situations? They all had something in common. And if you didn't, I'll help you out. In all three situations, the hacker was not able to attack the person without the person initiating initiating the interaction, right? So they don't just sneak into your computer like a lot of people would like to think or gain easy access. In fact, a lot of times they rely on human air, right? So in the first example, fishing. Well, don't be the fish. If they're fishing and they're using bait, ignore the bait. That's the best way. Don't answer those emails. Don't click on those links, don't answer those phone calls and provide information to people who definitely shouldn't have it. Don't give access to your computer to anyone uh, who shouldn't have it, right? So that's how you avoid phishing, it's very simple. SQL injection's a little harder, right? We all wanna go to different websites and we can't control what websites are getting hit with SQL injection. Well, the truth is a lot of times they'll target weak sites or sites that are insecure. So just be very, very careful about where you go online. Yes, some of the bigger sites could fall prey to SQL injection, but they have security teams constantly kind of monitoring that and trying to watch out for that. It's usually the lower end sites, the unsafe sites, and the places that you kind of maybe thought you shouldn't have gone in the first place that you'll usually wind up getting hit with SQL injection. So just be careful. Be careful where you go online. Be very safe about the websites you go to and always review sites before you visit them. Maybe get some info before you visit the site and put yourself into an unsafe situation. Now malware, malware is as simple as monitoring your computer. Be careful what you download to your computer. Be, be per careful what you put on it. A lot of times malware will hide as, um, as software that's legitimate, but then it turns out to be not the actual uh, software, it's malware instead. So be very careful about what you're downloading online. If you can't monitor your system yourself, it would be worth it to get a professional to do that for you, to watch for malware, viruses, things like that, and know how to use your antivirus correctly. So if you do all these things, all three of these things um, will not be an issue to you, right? These three common hacking methods. So um, watch where you go online, watch what you download, watch what information you're providing, and you can stay safe. So thank you everyone for tuning back in. Please stay safe until the next video and be careful where you go online.